Whoops, that intro is for the wrong game. My bad. Hey, what's happening, folks? Text one out one here, and welcome to game number two of my team builder series. Now, I know what you guys are asking. Hey, Texas, where is gameplay number one? Now, this is where it gets intriguing, right? Because I played it against a fellow YouTuber. We're not going to name any names. You know who you are. He sent me a message on Twitter, asked me to play. I was like, cool, we'll go ahead and play this game. And suspiciously, he asked me, hey, Texas, are there any rules? I said no, like a dummy. And all I know is that he came out running play action end around and unblockable a gaps. Like, <laughs> like that was insane. Like he wanted to make his YouTube debut, his appearance in my video running cheese. So if you guys want to see that gameplay, I will upload. If you guys don't, I will not. So let me know in the comment section below. And to be transparent here with the video, I pretty much called this guy dickhead the entire time. So if you guys want to see angry Texas bitching and complaining about guys playing Madden, I'll upload that very soon. But this is game number two, and it's against Dragon Dre, a subscriber to the channel. I messaged him. He's like, yo, let's play right now. And if you guys still want to play me, I got three more games to play. I got three more games to play. Gamer Tag is in the Prodigy. Just go ahead and message me. I pretty much send out a bunch of messages. Whoever replies back first is who I play. So you guys got to be alone when I send out these messages because I'm not about to be waiting whatsoever. But enough of this. Let's talk about the gameplay. And I think I might have constructed one of the best team builder line if you guys see my team's not that good you saw marks you saw vix my team's not it, it, it holds his own run of the ball not that great but when it comes to the passing man pay manning be putting the ball on the money office line be blocking tight end screen right here and we get oh my god i forgot that one block he pancaked him ladarius green was about to be gone look at that pass protection ladarius green on third and inches does not get the conversion they put the ball away to our opponent he throws a halfback screen and we read it perfectly but Jameis winston has some wheels unfortunately that is one oversight by mutt and that is one reason why i believe guys down at ea do not watch football like it's kind of funny right you work for a company that puts out a football game and yet you gave Jameis Winston some speed. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Winston has that speed as a beautiful broken tackle right there, number 22, who I think is Mark Ingram. But Winston does have to have speed because nobody will use him. That is a misnomer because, or a lie, as he, golly, I blitz there, and Jamal Charles gets in the end zone really easily. But you don't have that speed for quarterbacks to be useful in this game. I use Peyton Manning. He is so good. Now, he does have mobility, but he does not have to have 89 to 95 speed to get the job done. He still wins me games. He still avoids sacks. So, you don't gotta got, you don't have to have speed. Hopefully, Mutt in the near future goes in that direction where speed quarterbacks are going to continue to be not as useful as a quarterback like Peyton Manning or Tom Brady or Phillip Rivers would be in this game. And we go three and out right there really easily. We get a huge sack right there, forcing a second and 18. But James Winston has another agenda. Scramble out of the pocket, roll up, and does not fumble. That man is strong. He country strong, man. That card is going to be a pleasure to play with in the near future. He got me right there. I thought I was going to be able to bait him to the interception, but he makes a nice throw. But the very next play, look at the users. LaRon Landry catches the pick after dropping one earlier in this game. And now we got the ball and have time to score for half. We're going deep. We're going deep to Andre Johnson on his comeback route, who turns around the ball, hits him right in the chest. LaShawn McCoy breaks the tackle, and he's almost gone, but... DeAndre Hopkins does not turn around to block his guy. Quick pass to Steve Largent, who does not get in the end zone, but gets us a nice gain, and we're so close. LaShawn well, McQuay gets us at his two-yard line. Give the ball to Zach Stacy, and he run commits, and we settle for a field goal. So this dude's goal line defense was on point, but having a three-point lead coming out of half while getting the ball is a good look. We can still put up more points and take control of this game, so I'm not too worried whatsoever. Ever. This next play, LaShawn McCoy has a hole, but God, Leo, he gets destroyed. My offensive line when it comes to run blocking is one of the worst. But pass blocking, as you guys will see on this play, they give me all the time I need. Look at A's open. I throw it to A, 
And I threw it to him way too late because the safety had time to react and get over there not the ball to his hands. That was a really good play by his defense right there, forcing the turnover on downs. And now he's running the ball effectively with his running backs, with the counters, with all the stuff. But we get a stop on the backfield on his very next play. Another run play runs right into that guy. I do believe he tried to go to the outside, but the game will not let him. I think he tried to, and the game's like, no, nah, nah, not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. He goes out, checks it down to his tight end, and the game cheeses him. Third six right here, game cheese me right back. Look at this. <laughs> no, if you block that man, if you block that man, I get a first down. But, I mean, the game can't be perfect. It's perfect. Everybody will score. Everybody be mad at this game. So, I understand what's going on. Run stick right there. Gets a good game. Running up the middle with his halfback. Gerard Mayo basically tried to strip him, but he does not end up doing so. But on fourth and four, he's going for the fourth quarter. So, there's no rules in this game. You can go for it whenever you want to. I don't care what you do. Just don't run play action in the round. Come on, I hate you for it. We have a second and 13. No more running the ball. We're done running the ball, man. We're done doing that play action. We hit Mercedes Lewis, who is a pretty damn good target for us. He is not fast at all. He finds way to get open. So does Largent, and we get down. We're playing a super, super, as Kareem would say, weenie game. I'm not trying to lose it. We get another pass to Mercedes Lewis, who gets himself into the end zone. And look at the flicker there is. Look at the flicker there is. And with the flick of the wrist, this game is pretty much over. He's going for one more heave and hoe. He throws a streak, and Laron Landry puts the game away. That card has played so much better than Tyvon Branch played, but that might be because I'm playing against subscribers that have kind of the same overall team as what I have. So it's not none of that all pro, all Madden cheese to run up against. We got the victory against this sub. Shout out to Dragon Dre. Next gameplay might be posted up today or tomorrow. If you guys want to see the gameplay right after this one, 200 likes and I'll upload it right away. I'm the Text Boy and I'll catch y'all mother bleepers with game number three. And keep in mind, if you guys want to see game number one, hit that thumbs up button as well. Peace.